What the fuck are you doing, son? Reading a book in the cemetery. That's just weird. How do you let an old man with one leg sneak up on you like that? Damn. Come on, let's go to work. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the East. Communication of heart, mind, and body. Fresh beginnings with the rising of each sun the knowledge of the truth found in the sharing of silences. Oh my God! The gifts of the South, warmth of hearth and home. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Good? Yep. All right, watch come in tomorrow around 8. All right. Yeah, I got to go. Candy's waiting for me. See you, boss. All right, man. Janet. I'll see you tomorrow. Floyd, stop playing with yourself. Nobody wants to see that.
the other man. It's open, Ron. Hey! Hey. Oh man, I wanna need that. You got anything to drink? See for yourself. No. The answer was no. I mean like alcoholic beverages. The stuff in here is the only thing my grandma drinks. What is this stuff? Is this for constipation? I'm gonna take that for a yes. There's no sugar added either. Why don't you have anything? Didn't you watch that stuff on SeaWorld? What they do to fish? They eat mostly oil. You're eating oil. Why do you smell? That's from the kids at the park. I had to do a birthday party and their mothers don't really watch them and one was eating ice cream and Cheez-Its and threw up on my pants. That's why I need to drink tonight, man. Come to No Bar with me, please. Next time. I talked to Elena today. Did you talk to her? No, not really. I saw her. I can't talk to her. Why not? She's like the prize horse in the Kentucky Derby. And I'm like the guy who cleans up the poop afterwards. Makes sense. Why don't you come to No Bar with me tonight? No. Uh. It's Titty Tuesday. Wet t-shirt contest. They fill up buckets and they dump them on the girls on the top of the stage. Well, you should know what a wet t-shirt contest is. Not my thing. But it's my thing. Fine. I guess it's me and a six pack tonight. Cool. I guess I'll see you around. Later. Peace and love. You gonna put it where? What? I no no I'll be I'll, I'll be there at ten. No, I didn't eat breakfast today. All right. Oh fuck yourself. The hell is that fucker? I'm right here, boss. Ralph, you gotta stop sneaking up on me like that. I've been right here. Never mind. Hey. Do you think that bottle of bourbon I drank last night is going to show up on my colonoscopy? I don't know. Uh, damn. I, I, I thought I told you not to show up for work today. Tell me to be here at 9. you got to start paying attention, Ralph. Whatever. What the fuck did you just say? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Uh, I'm just trying to teach you something. You know, I walk alone. The ice is thin. These feeble steps prolong the sin. My heart elates of golden days with crimson tides, and yes, heartfelt praise. While I wish that I could journey back and heal the wounds and resurrect the fact with elegance and solace, too. The decadence, profound 
virtue, its tides will flow and waves will crash through self-delusion's aimless dash. I teeter upon one single thread. My life's reflections are blindly dead. If I were to die the darkness through, the last words I would say would be, fuck you. Don't forget that. Hi. Hi. I'm Rainbow. Nope. My mother said the usuals took me and teach me, so I have and that's why you're here. No, I, I work here. Is heaven pretty? Where's your mother? Do they have many drawers there? I want my auntie Teresa to have one. What? Please make sure my auntie Teresa gets one. Um. Oh, and goldfish too. Lainey, it's time to go. I'm talking into an angel, Mommy. Angel, smile. Why don't you smile? I think your mom's calling you. Okay, bye. Don't forget the goldfish. Come here, babe. Who are you talking to? Can I get you some lemonade? Sure. Did you get the message I left you yesterday? Sorry, I didn't have my phone on. Okay, well, anyways, I was just calling to let you know that your father was having trouble taking in air. And he hasn't been able to breathe for the past three days. Okay. Ralph, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but your father is starting his transition. And I'm gonna do everything I can to keep him comfortable. Thanks. Do you have a boyfriend? I'm sorry, I meant it looked like you were gonna ask for something else to drink. No, I'm good. You know what maturity is? It's when someone hurts you and you try to understand their situation, but you don't hurt them back. Sometimes that person's you. Dude, where are you going already, man? You're gonna miss my band play. Hey, you ever fuck the lead singer? Working this late? No. You say so. 
Why would you ask that? No, dude, that's a great outfit. I see you got the party started already. Yep, I had a couple in the parking lot. Well, put them away. You're coming out with me. Nope. I'm going to bed. It's been a long day. I could use a wingman. No wings today. Come on. Hey, uh, I have a beer for me. And a uh, piece of pizza, too, man. All right, I will. But I can use the company, though. Quit fucking around up there and get down here. I need help with something. I told you to quit fucking around at work. That's what you get. Ah! He sees everything. I told you you're gonna end up just like me someday, Ralph. What'd you call me up here for? Take that hose over to the shed. You called me all the way up here for that? So you think I couldn't handle it by myself? Is that what you no. thought? You thought you were gonna come over, help an old crippled man with one leg out? Is that what you Never thought, mind. Ralph? Hey, I ain't no punk, Ralph. I'll take care of it. Yeah. When you're done with that, you come back over here and help me take this to the recycling bin. Did you do all this by yourself? I did it all by myself. Ain't that something? You gotta, you gotta go clean that shit up over there. Shouldn't we leave that one for a couple of days? What the hell for? <clears throat> hey, cut it out! <laughs> Have some respect! <laughs> you a cop blocker. <laughs> At a graveyard? What do you mean you haven't? No. Never? <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, Ralph, look, I don't really want to try to tell you how to run your luck, but when is the last time, like, you had a girlfriend or a prostitute? I mean, anything. Hey. Ralph, you don't want to end up like me. What are you talking about? Do you really think Candace is free? Horse costs money. You really want to be working here 20 years from now with only horse to count on? No, nope. not really. <laughs> Why don't you go get the car and let's just get out of here? All right, boss. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> he ain't never gonna get none.
first awaken the spirits to hear your request. As a wolf howls for the moon, so shall you. You must dance five paces around the tomb while loudly repeating the prayer in its original dialect with all of your will, passion, and belief. Only if you fully commit with your entire being will the spirits heed to your will. Dromorati Theophilate Timedophilate What the hell am I doing? crazy. Oh, where am I? You're in my apartment. Where? Oh, my head hurts. Is this, is this heaven? Nope. It's Pasadena. Who, who are you? I'm Ralph. Where did you find me? At the cemetery. Wait, wait, you, you found me alive? Are you? I was dead. I know. That's all I'm bury you. Okay, let, let me think a second. The last thing I remember is being on a hospital bed, surrounded by my family, some were crying and praying, and and then I I just left. I remember leaving my body. How did I get back in my body? Uh, I found this mystic prayer book and has a chapter on how to bring people back from the dead. Okay, so you found a book. What does that have to do with me being here? I, I don't know, I mean, I read this stupid thing and there you are. What, what, what does all of this mean? I mean, do I just go back to my family and say, hey guys, I'm back? Maybe, maybe I'm stuck in some kind of dream state in between the two worlds. Are you okay? What? You know, are you all good? All good? I didn't plan on this working. But you didn't plan on this working? No. Okay, listen. I accepted the facts that I was going to die. How was I supposed to know that if I read I, this, you would? I mean, what? Am I some kind of zombie now? Uh, I hope not. No, I, I need answers. What's wrong? It's impossible. Yeah. No. No, no, you don't. You don't understand. I, I have hair. What? I. I. I haven't had a full head of hair since I was a really little girl. Why not? I. I was, I was just really sick. This, this is what they buried me in? Yeah. Did I, uh, crawl up from the ground? I guess. So that means I must have crawled with a bunch of worms and maggots and all sorts of 
nasty you, you don't have, bugs. You don't have any bugs on you. I have a shower. I mean, you can clean up if you want to. Okay. It's uh, down the hall on the left. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, does anyone else know? Uh, no, just me. Do you want me to call someone? Not yet. You want something to eat? Uh, sure. What do you have? Just yogurt. I'll pass. Do you have something that I could wear? Yeah, sure. Uh, anything you find is yours. Thanks. So how do I look? You look great. How do you feel about a double-double with cheese? All this time, and all it took was a guy with a book. Well, I feel like you know so much about me, but I know nothing about you. Except for you read really weird books and only eat yogurt. Well, that pretty much sums me up. But you know, I really don't know that much about you. Well, I like to read, but I'm less into magic, more into Hemingway. I fervently believe that adding pickles to anything makes it better. And I'm really into shark diving. Even though I've never done it. <laughs> mm. This is so good. Mm, I know. It's great, but I just have some paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's your turn. Sum yourself up. I'm really not that interesting. Sure you are. You've never had in and out but you brought someone back to life. It never occurred to me to stop it in and out. It was my 24th birthday, and I was really sick. But my family wanted to see me in the hospital. <laughs> so my little niece, Lainey, had my father pick her up and bring her to the in and out across the street from the hospital. And she brought me a double-double with cheese with extra pickles. <sighs> and I felt so awful, I just... I couldn't say no to her cute face. So you ate it. Hmm, you bet. Did you keep it down? <laughs> no, but I tasted it. Well, you know, there's no pickles in it, but their chocolate shakes are amazing. Should have got one. You can have mine. Okay. What, you never drank behind a dead girl before? <sighs> Why'd you do it? Why'd I do what? Well, why'd you choose me? Or do you bring people back to life often? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is all just still really weird. That's all. I guess uh, I saw your family. They were amazing. They really were. And then I saw your picture, and I wanted to get to know you. And I don't want to get to know many people. Where'd you find the book? There's this bookstore down the street from my apartment. It, like, they have all these random and used books. And they put this cardboard box, so books they haven't sold, and they put them out there and you can just take them for free. Mm. That's where I found it. Well, <laughs> that's an interesting choice. Well, I always pick three books. And the Mystic Prayer book happened to be the one I picked up the other night. So you're not part of some weird voodoo cult or anything? No. I just like to read. Okay. Well, what's the weirdest book you've ever read? Hmm. Well, there is this one. 
No, it's too embarrassing. No, tell me. How to shit in the woods, <laughs> an environmentally sound <laughs> approach to a lost art. You're not serious. No, I am. Well, you're making that up. I'm not. Um, the author's name was Kathleen Meyer. And I promised myself, whenever I pick up any of these books, I would read it from cover to cover. And, well, I read it. And you know what? It really wasn't that bad. Mm. What'd you learn? Do you really want to talk about that right now? <laughs> so that's what you do for fun. Yeah. I guess it's my way to escape. And earn things. Well, you don't have to escape. Just go somewhere. Can't. Why not? Where would you go? No, probably someplace tropical, maybe Hawaii, New Zealand. Can you take me somewhere? Yeah, sure. Right now? <laughs> right now. <laughs> Can I finish eating first? used to hold my hand at the hospital and she'd wear this lotion that smelled like hibiscus flowers. I always thought it smelled like Kauai. Every time someone would come near the house smelling like cigarette smoke, she would tell them to leave because they were infecting her daughter's positive healing space. I never understood what you meant by that. I'm sorry, can we, can we go, please? Yeah. Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente. Big, but they're comfortable. Thanks.
How long do I have? What do you mean? Well, what's the time limit on whatever this is? I don't know. Was well, it in the book? I can check. As in all those in life, every blessing coming of the spirit ancestors has a positive and a negative effect. As life may enter the dead again, so shall life enter death again. Know that after passing through three moons, the earth will reclaim the blessing. So, so three days. Morning. I have to go out for a few minutes. I'm gonna go tell my boss that I'm not gonna come in for the next couple of days. You really don't have to do that. I want to. Okay. Morning, boss. Morning. Hey, do you uh, mind if I take the next couple of days off? Take as many days off as you want. You're not going anywhere. Take the whole week off. Nah, I just need two days. Okay. So what we got today? Not much going on today. Why don't you take off now? Really? Yeah. OK. OK. Thanks. You're welcome. Don't judge me. She's single now.
I'm black. <laughs> Must have dug pretty deep to find that one. I like this one. It was all you had. Do you want to go get something real to eat? You know, I'm not really hungry. <laughs> you know what? Let's go somewhere. Uh, okay, how about the beach? Sure. Let me go get changed. Wait, I don't have a bathing suit. We'll buy you one on the way there. I have a question for you. Hmm. What's the best gift you've ever gotten? Hmm. Best gift? You know, being in the hospital, I got all kinds of really strange gifts. They're like baskets full of weird cheese and fruit. I don't know, for me, it was always more about the person giving the gift than the actual gift. Hey, yeah, what about you? No. Oh. Wow. I really can't think of one. I mean, I guess we never really were big on celebrations. And never been a big gift giver, much less gift receiver. Well, what was the thing that you really wanted like when you were a kid? Um, <laughs> you're gonna think it's dumb, but I've always wanted a Lionel figurine. You know, Lionel from Thundercats. Oh my God, you don't know Thundercats? Are you serious? Oh, Thundercats were awesome. Thundercats are like these cat-like humanoid aliens from the planet Thundura. It's a cartoon. I don't care. It was cool. I watched it that all the time when I was a kid. the most excited I've ever seen you. <laughs> Thundercats are awesome. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> well, you want to go join him? No. You're that guy who goes to the beach but doesn't go into the ocean? Pretty much. Well, I'm gonna go in. Have at it. That's been bothering me for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> Some boyfriend you are, allowing this beautiful woman to walk around with tags hanging off of her? Uh, she's not my girlfriend. 
Enjoy the rest of your meal. Do you have a girlfriend? No. I had fun today. Yeah? Well, me too. And for not being a beach guy, did pretty good at the beach. Thanks. You know, I went through some of your stuff. I saw that you were a pretty big track star in high school. I was all right. And with all those medals, it must have been more than all right. It was a long time ago. Well, what about the wall? My mother, she used to have this journal. And in the back of the journal, she would write down like any quote that she heard or that she read that meant something to her. And when I found out they had chalkboard paint, I just thought it'd be awesome to have that wall. tight over there. Hey, I stopped by on the way down. Teresa, this is Ron. Ron, Teresa. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Well, actually, I needed some advice about Elena. I'll stop by later. Oh, why don't you just come up with us? That'd be really cool. Let me just get rid of this, this trash first, OK? <laughs> okay. OK. Thanks, Ralph. So, Teresa, what do you do? Uh, I'm a fortune teller. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. How did you two meet? It, uh, was it at No Bar? We met at work. At the cemetery? What do you do? Oh, I work as a party host. Well, it sounds like a fun job. Tell her the rest. Well, what rest? Well, I do mostly kids' parties, so sometimes I wear costumes. Sometimes? I don't always wear costumes. Well, what kind of costumes? Oh, you know, Barney, Bubble Guppies, Teletubbies. <laughs> hey, don't be embarrassed. This sounds like a cool job. You get to entertain kids. Thanks. Ralph, I like your new girlfriend. She's oh, we're not, not there yet. Oh. Anyways, I should go. It was really nice to meet you. Oh, wait, well, didn't you have to ask Ralph a question? Oh, uh, Ralph, I'll ask you later. It's no, okay. Really, what was the question? It's about Elena. Elena? Is money, Penny? It's a James Bond reference. Anyway, she asked me to take her to San Diego. What does that mean? It means she wants to take you to San Diego. Well, no. Does that mean, like, she, like, like likes me? We hardly know each other, and she wants to spend three hours in the car ride with me. Well, maybe the three hours is to get to know you. I would just go for the ride. Huh. I should. OK. Thanks, Teresa. Yeah, no problem. All right, you guys have a good night. Later, on. It was nice so nice to meet, meet you. <laughs> Bye. What are you doing? 
I decided to do something nice for my niece, Lainey. Oh, the little girl with the red hair. <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? I saw her at your funeral. Isn't she the cutest? <laughs> yeah, she is. Well, since I can't throw her a party like what Ron does, I decided to do something different. I wanted to give her something that would last longer than three days. You didn't get much sleep last night, did you? I found this. It was in your closet. It didn't have any pictures in it. I hope you don't mind. I thought scrapbooks were supposed to have pictures. Well, that's the point. She can fill them in as she grows up. I didn't want to give her a book full of strangers. I love the sunglasses. <laughs> it's good, right? It's great. It has a great gift. She's gonna love it. How are you gonna get it to her? Well, I was thinking that you could give it to her for me. How? Oh, well, we could just wait outside of school and give it to her when she gets out. I don't want to look like some creep. You won't. Listen, this, this would make this whole thing really worthwhile for me. She doesn't get out of school for another few hours, so we could get breakfast if you'd like. I gotta make a quick stop first. Okay. It's a nice house. Who lives here? Will you, uh, stay in the car? Sure. It's my dad's house. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you come in. Can I get you anything? Sorry to keep calling you, but I think he really wanted to see you. What? He's been sleeping more and more, but when he's awake, he points to the phone. Did he say anything? I can't really understand what he's saying. Sorry. Excuse me. Here, come on. Sit up. Cough it up. Good. Good, 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 good. Come on, lay back. you to take it. I'm sorry. It's 
It's not your place. No. You know, when you're on that deathbed, like, nothing else matters. Your father needs closure, okay? So do you. So how are we gonna do this? You just go up to her and uh, tell her you're a friend of mine and that I asked you to deliver it. Okay. I'm gonna get arrested. Hey, do you remember me? Yes, dear, the angel from the cemetery. Teresa wanted me to give you this. You know, your Auntie T. <laughs> Auntie T. Bye. We'll never see you again. Only God knows that. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. just one last thing, it would be that the grass is never greener on the other side. It's only brown grass with sunlight shining over it. I wish I would have realized that before I left my soulmate for brown, dry, useless grass. But I can't take it back now as much as I wish I could. And I can't bring back my sweet Rosie. She's holding Jesus' hand now and it's all my fault. No, I, I can't sleep. Do you want some water? Yeah. You know that look on Lainey's face when you gave her the scrapbook? It was just, it was so satisfying. I'm just too wired, I can't sleep. I'm afraid of wasting time or something. None of this time that I got back would have been possible if it weren't for you. I didn't do anything special. Yes, you did. You didn't just do something special for me. You, you are special. I hope you know that. Listen. Sorry about earlier. It's just my dad, he is a really touchy subject. But whatever you did in there, thank you. What would you do if it was your last night? It's okay. This is my last night. Do you like the flowers? They're perfect.
You mentioned hibiscus flowers when we saw your mom. The florist said they represent courage and spontaneity. You really should go and see her one more time. Forgive you, Pop. Forgive me.
You know, hibiscus flowers only live for one day. Why do people hold her hand when you die? I think it's because they don't want to let you go. I think. So you know that you'll never be alone. Try to do my best to keep you safe inside this nest and keep your gravity from pulling you to earth. I'd like to say this gets more clear when it's more cloudy every day. But summer's gonna come and burn the stormy clouds and all the doubt away. Sleep, little girl, cause when you wake it's gonna be a different world. Close your eyes and say goodbye to spring It's true, the spring is coming to an end You're not that fragile anymore I know what's there behind that door And it's just waiting in the wings to... When all around is vacant and destitute is near Burying is a folly, prolonging every tear. To grasp a tender moment and wonder where it's been, the shadows of insistence choke the fire in. But all we know is plunder, the pressure much to bear. To reach inside and seize the light. Be careful if you dare envelop and protect the spark of things to be. For with this task incredulous, you will fall on destiny. So embrace this incantation. Enhancement has begun. Hold steadfast, clear, and rage intent. Who you are, the chosen one. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> what are you doing? Shit. I know you think you're safe in here inside these insulated walls. But I can't hold this house together Not forever, yeah, and soon it's gonna fall Sleep, little girl Cause when you wake, it's gonna be a different world Everything will change Everything will change The score slamming shut It's gonna catch you if you're ready or you're Close your eyes and say goodbye to spring Slow down, cause winter's just around the bend Everything will change, everything will change. This door is slamming shut, 
It's gonna catch you if you're ready or you're not So close your eyes and say goodbye to spring